October 1st will remain a special day for Nigeria. It's the day Nigeria gained independence from the British Empire and became a sovereign nation with the power to do as it may. Before independence, Nigeria had some form of freedom but could not be exercised without authorization from the British Queen. It was just like the case of a prisoner under house arrest who could move about a restricted house pretending to be free but could not move out of that particular house. Nigeria may have had its independence on the easier platform, devoid of the violence that plagued other African nations who solicited for independence, such as South Africa, who were on their appetite. Nigeria has been described from other quarters as a lucky nation that received its independence on a platter of gold. This isn't entirely true, as there were some men who put their entire life and that of their family at risk to solicit for Nigerians' independence three men who dedicated their lives and even died for the proclamation of independence in Nigeria and beyond that its significant growth. These men crossed culture and ethnicity and saw that Nigeria was free and united. First of them is Sir Amadou Bello. Sir Amadou Bello is reckoned as one of the most prominent political figures in Nigeria. Alaji Sir Amadou Bello was born on the 12th of June 1910 in Raba in Sokoto State. He was inevitably born with a silver spoon in his mouth as his family was believed to be the founder of Sokoto Empire. Amadou Bello had his earlier education in Sokoto Provincial School and later at Katsina Teachers Training College. His political stint began in 1934. He became the district head of Raba and was later promoted as the divisional head of Guso City. After his return from England, Amadou Bello became the representative of the Sokoto Province in the House of Assembly. In the year 1954, Bello became the top premier of Northern Nigeria. His efforts to unify the different tribes of Nigeria received good response from different parts of the country. On 15th of January 1966, he was assassinated. Second of them is Chief Inamdi Azikwe. Chief Inamdi Azikwe was born on November 16, 1904. Uh, he was one of the leading figures of modern Nigerian nationalism who became the first president of Nigeria after Nigeria secured its independence from the United Kingdom. He was popularly called Zik. After obtaining his master's in 1933, he took up the position of editor for African Post in Ghana and that's where his pro-African agenda started. He returned to Lagos and started Zik Group of Newspaper in 1937. After a successful journalism enterprise, he entered into politics. In 1952, he was elected to the position of chief minister and in 1954, he became premier of the eastern region. On November 16, 1960, he became the governor general and later president of Nigeria in 1963. He was deposed after a coup in 1966. He died on May 11, 1996 in Enugu state after a protracted illness. On number 3 is Chief Obafemi Awolowo. Chief Obafemi Awolowo was born in 1909. He was a Nigerian nationalist, a political leader, a principal participant in the struggle for Nigerian independence. He was born in Ikene. He received his early education in Ekene, Abeokuta, and Ibadan. He returned from London with his law degree and began his political journey in earnest. He stood for the Yoruba race and ensured the welfare of the Yoruba people and indeed Nigeria as a whole. He was highly critical of the British rules and dominance on Nigerian soil that he coordinated people and demanded for the proclamation of Nigerians' independence from the British rule. He became Premier of the Western Region and later Minister of Finance under General Yakubu Gowan's government. He was quite vocal and his voice remains prominent till date. 
this meant stood for their tribes and indeed Nigeria as a whole. They ensured the voice of their people became heard and demanded that Nigeria became free from colonial rule. Nigeria would eternally be grateful to them and posterity would never forget them. Chief Obafe Miawulawo adorns the 100 Naira note. Chief Inambi Azikwe adorns the 500 Naira note. While Sir Amadu Bello adorns the 200 Naira note. We salute these great men today and remember them.